Hello, this is Wes Kestermont of the Genesis Wall Systems. It is the day before Thanksgiving uh, 2015, and I'll be testing our new ballistic panel at a distance of 15 feet with a 338 Lapua Magnum and a 250 grain bullet. The particular panel that I'm shooting today is layered a little differently uh, than the previous one that I had uh, was successful in stopping a 338 Lapua. This is actually a quarter inch uh, fiberglass that we're using on this particular panel as opposed to the last one which was a 3 16 So we went up, increased the uh, thickness slightly there. Uh, also just on the back we have a 3 16 plate. Uh, typically in our ballistic panels this is going to be quarter inch but just for this purpose I just put a 3 16 on it. As you can see the entire panel is built similar to our panels that we're building now. Uh, with the appearance wise as far as the channel wrapping around the bottom of the, the wall system along with the top um, This particular panel behind that is our common Genesis wall system This is used for residential and commercial applications It can be built in various heights from four feet This is eight foot six so we can build panels uh, 8 foot 6, 9 foot 6, 10 foot 6, 12 foot 6, and up to 14 feet in height for shipping purposes. We can build the panels up to 48 feet in length, and we've done that successfully. The interior of the panel, uh, which is exposed, is structural members by Warehouser, which is a timber strand LSL product. Uh, we embed these in. They're a 2x8 product with a 4x8 on 4 foot centers. Uh, typically the, the structural members are put in at 16 inch on center and then every 4 feet we embed a 4x8. This gives it a lot more strength, uh, a lot more lateral load, compressive load, uh, wind shear, things like that that we're, we're looking to uh, obviously increase in our wall systems. The wall systems are designed for hurricane and tornado prone areas. Um, we can also build larger commercial buildings such as uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, Bass Pros, um, Staples, um, just about anything uh, really that where concrete is uh, we could basically go in and put this in. Uh, our test results are going to be extremely high um, on these particular panels. The R factor is actually an R30 on our common wall. The ballistic panels are going to be slightly less than that because of the ballistic grade materials that we use inside of them. However, there is no steel used in our ballistic panels. Uh, we had some people who believe that uh, we embedded steel plates in our panel. This panel is only um, seven and a half inches in width and there is absolutely no steel in this panel with the exception of the lag bolts that hold it together. Uh, as I was mentioning, the commercial part of this, um, with being able to build panels that are um, uh, what's called a tall wall system, uh, we would use fiberglass H-beams in which we would slide our panels down from the top using a crane. We can build up to heights of 40 feet very easily, um, widths again up to about 14 feet for shipping purposes. Uh, we can actually do longer panels if need be. Uh, we would just have to design the uh, criteria a little different where we would do a stacking wall system uh, and be able to basically put those in. Um, we're also working on a roof system uh, that is going to be um, similar uh, to what you're seeing here. Uh, be able to basically build in a very large building in just days as opposed to months uh, like they typically are done. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a a look at, at what we're doing here. Uh, currently we're looking for some investors basically to step in and, and be able to help uh, with this project. Um, the ballistic panels were primarily designed for our military. Uh, also our first responders as far as police and um, obviously state, FEMA. Um, we could go into different uh, you know, various departments uh, of justice and be able to fabricate these wall systems uh, to where they would have a safe zone or a safe building um, to provide uh, 
protection against shrapnel uh, and bullets of, of just about any makeup. We have not shot this panel with a 50 caliber as of yet, um, mainly because I don't have one, but uh, hopefully that will change soon. But at this point, uh, I'm going to shoot again from 15 feet with the 338 Lapua Magnum, and uh, we'll see what it does. As you can see, uh, there's no exit holes on the back. Uh, probably should have had the panel screwed in a little bit better. Um, two entry wounds in the front, spaced a little bit apart, probably about two and a half inches or so. Um, overall, the panel did extremely well. As you can see, uh, as I mentioned before, this particular panel is not real heavy. Um, you know, it's decent. Uh, as far as weight goes, so it'd be easy to ship and uh, also to be able to set up on site. But uh, I'm kind of glad that this worked out real well. Um, again, there's no holes in the back of the panel. It basically took this plate out a little bit, so I'm going to have to open it up and find out exactly what the bullet did inside there. The last time uh, we were able to stop the bullet within about four and a half inches upon entry which is what the panel is kind of designed to do. So the other thing was is the 338 Lapua Magnum uh, has such a high velocity and a large caliber uh, as far as a grain bullet. Uh, what it did was kind of amazing. It actually shredded the bullet. We found just bits and pieces and particles of it, uh, really nothing of any size. And that's a full metal jacket uh, bullet also. So at this point, I'm going to basically stop the test. I'm going to remove the rear cover of the panel, find out exactly where uh, the bullet was stopped at, and be able to record that on the, uh, the video.